Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to combine text into a one cell comma separated list. So what does that mean? Let's say we have a list of numbers here. These are serial numbers. And this is something you might get out of an enterprise system or someone just sends this to you and you need to plug this into another system. And that system might take a delimited, delimited list and the delimiter is commas. So you need to put all that into a one cell and have it separated by commas. Uh, this is probably most common in enterprise systems where you have to do this. I'll show you two examples of how we can use Excel functions to do this. One is using the text join feature, which is new in Excel uh, Outlook 365 and probably Excel 2019. And if you don't have those feet, that particular version of Excel, I'll show you another example using the concatenate function. And that can be used in Excel 2016 and previous. So let's go with our first example. This is actually fairly easy to do with the text join function. And all you need to do is type text join. Let me select that. The delimiter that we're going to use, we're going to use a comma. So we have to put that in quotes. And comma. Do we need to ignore empty cells? Well, this is all. There's no empty cells here, but the default is true anyway, so we'll just select that. Or we can just put a comma. It's going to take that as a default. And what is the series, the, the text that you want to do, uh, do you want to join? I can just select all of this here, close parentheses, press enter, and now it's done it. Beautiful. Well, what if we had a, a empty cell? Right click, let's insert, insert a cell here. So G298, which is over here, did it ignore empty cells? Yes, it did. If you didn't have that there, so let's see if we didn't have the ignore empty, we had false, and we included empty cells. So look what happened. So now there's that little space in there. So just something to be aware of if you use this particular function, right? Let's delete that. Let's get rid of those. That is false. Press enter and we're going to remove that, right? So that's fine. So now what if you didn't have this text join function available? You don't have Office 365 or you don't have Excel 2019. You can use the concatenate function. Now since this is a version of Office 365 that I have, there's actually something called concat and this does the same thing as concatenate. Concatenate is the older version of concat but basically I've got Office 365 so they put both functions there. We're going to use the concatenate function for this particular example. So if we wanted to get a series of comma separate lists out of all these serial numbers this is how we would do it. First we would take that particular value and then our next line is then we'll start concatenating. So I'm going to type concat that's the text that I want and then I want the comma and another comma. Our text, the third text is going to be the one above. Close parentheses, press enter and now it's added that one and the one above. All I need to do now is double click the fill handle to copy this formula down and so as it copies it down it's going to take that one and then the one above and that one and then the one above for each preceding cell. Double click it and what we do is we just take our last cell. So you notice that it's added uh, three x one three six two seven, and it's added it to this particular cell, which has that long list of comma separated values. And so it just appended it. So that's the other way that we can do it. You can copy this and put it into another system um, that needs th this particular list in a CS list or comma separated list value format. So there's our two ways we can get combined text into a one cell comma separate list. One using the text join function and the other one using concatenate. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.